Tell him to bring his binder. Okay. Uh, what information do you want before we... You want the grading? I the grading. Okay. And then uh, you want, you're the president of Bill Kim. You know that uh, we know. Anything else? All right. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. I'll go out here. Make it official. Okay. Hi. How's it going? Hey. How are you? You're doing fantastic. Bryce Button. Gabe Massey. I'm the leader of your uh, promotional camp for. Wemo Home Automation. Okay. Uh, right here is our presentation and right here is our formal plan. If you have any questions along the way, let me know. Okay. Uh, I'm here to help you out. and uh, So I just want to show you what we came up with. Okay. So again, I just wanted to thank you again for coming here today. I've been looking forward to this all week. I've been enjoying it. I'm glad to meet the president of our company. So basically, if you're asking, uh, what are we going to do with this promotional campaign? Well, first off, I just want to let you know that uh, this campaign is going to start on January 1st of 2014. Okay. And the entire campaign is going to go to the last promotion ends March 1st, 2014. <clears throat> so uh, with these five promotions, we are going to increase brand awareness, increase overall sales of the product, and hopefully build a stronger second to market text, second target market. And these are all the three goals of this campaign. Okay. Our first promotion, our first promotion is going to be a press release. Probably wondering what's it going to be. We've talked to Time Magazine, and Time Magazine said they're uh, willing to write an article about it. It's not going to be a front page article, but it will be one of their side articles inside the magazine. Um, so the goal of this uh, promotion is to increase brand awareness, get people more aware of our product and the cool new features and all the possibilities of it. Uh, it's going to occur on January 1st, 2014. It's going to go the whole entire month to February 1st, 2014. And uh, if you're asking how's, how we can we tell if this works, Time Magazine is going to put a survey up on their website if the product was purchased to uh, see if they liked it or not. Our second promotion. Our second promotion is going to be our billboards. Our billboards are going to be centered in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And you probably ask why Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia is uh, about 5 million people in the population of Atlanta, maybe a little bit more. It's a very large city and it has many young couples with infants, which it fits as our first target market and fits it well perfectly in many big communities. So some of the billboards will be uh, centered around the communities in Atlanta. But what's another thing about Atlanta? They have the largest airport in uh, the United, actually in the world. And uh, this fits perfectly with uh, many business travelers running through there, sometimes staying at hotels. So where do you put them? You put them on highways and uh, roads near the hotels. So they will see this. They can, you know, they know it's available at the Home Depot. But not only is it going to increase brand awareness, but inside Atlanta can also increase sales. Our third, our third is get, third promotion is going to be a commercial. Uh, the commercial is going to have Gabriel Iglesias and his actual wife. Uh, to give you an idea of what the commercial is going to be, it's a com we want to do a comical edge to Wemo Automation, with also telling, you know, being able to achieve brand awareness. And how can we do this? Uh, Gabriel Iglesias, you might ask, why we chose him. Him being, uh, his saying is, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. And that being, he can sit on the couch and almost do anything when his wife's uh, nagging him to go uh, find out how the baby's doing. He can do it on his phone, listen to his baby, or he can even turn off uh, the fan or turn on the fan. Almost anything with Wemo Home Automation. So this is going to occur on NBC, NBC only. It's going to occur, first day it's going to be uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and it's going to run through the entire month. Okay. Our fourth promotion. Our fourth promotion is going to be a Facebook ad. Uh, Facebook ad it works out really well, actually, because Facebook is, uh, if you probably already know, uh, through their ads, they can directly uh, gear their ads towards our target markets, their characteristics, their likes, and everything. So the theme for this is going to be your home on your phone. Uh, this is going to increase brand awareness. It's going to start on January 1st at 12 a.m., you look on my former plan, it's going to end February 1st, 12 a.m. So it's going to be exactly a month. Uh, and we can record this by a number of clicks on their website. If they click on one of these, it'll take them exactly to our website. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay. But it will take them exactly to our website if they click the Shop Now button. Our fifth and final promotion. Our fifth and final promotion is going to be a direct email. Direct email to home or work. 
email. Uh, it's going to, the goal of this promotion is to increase sales. Uh, it's going to actually be the, the way we design it's going to work out well. And we're really excited to see this all fall into place because uh, on Super Bowl Sunday is when the commercial is going to air and we already had uh, promotions running before that, uh, like the billboards and everything. So on Super Bowl Sunday, the next day when they wake up, they're going to get sent this email. This email, it's basically like a coupon. If they, uh, say they can save 20% on the next purchase of two or more items and they can check it out on their website if they click this. So a way we can uh, record this is number of purchase items from last quarter 2013 to first quarter 2014. And it all works out well because we can, uh, we're going to have this entire promotion done before the end of first quarter 2014. Um, now you already know our schedule and our basic stuff. Uh, this I also have the budget on our formal plan, but it lists out everything on here. Uh, our total cost is going to be four hundred fourteen thousand. Uh, this may seem like a lot, but with a big company like Billiken that we run in, it's actually a reasonable price. We've worked at a lot of other deals with different companies, and uh, it's four hundred fifteen thousand for any extra costs, any mishaps, if anything was to occur. And this is always negotiable in this range, but it has to be around this range. We can talk about that later if we decide to go with this. But uh, everything else, uh, I just want to let you know again that all in all, it's all going to be finished before the start of second quarter 2014. And that is this promotion. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think you've got some really good stuff in here. I like that you brought humor into it and some different angles. Uh, I think you're very practical, hit the travel market. Um, talk to me a little bit about which one of these advertisements do you think is going to be best? Most successful? Most successful and drive sales for us. For sales? All right. Uh, for sales, I would say definitely, I would say the commercial, actually. And the reason why is because people people know about our product, but they don't know about it enough because there's many different aspects of it. They, they don't know. Not many people know you can actually... Uh, listen to your baby on your phone. Now, before you'd have to have uh, your own separate like intercom or, I, I mean, when I was a kid, that's what my parents did, but uh, it's completely different now. So there's so many different possibilities and if people are aware of that, they're gonna, they're gonna go out and buy that. Okay, all right. Thanks, Gabe, I all appreciate right. it. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir, have Thank a good you. day. You too. Uh, do you wanna keep this? I do. All is, right. is Maddie McMullen in there or not? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, will you say I can check. Ashley in? Yeah. No.